Hey folks, welcome back to Gaming Garbage, where we take a look at games, chat about the gaming news in the industry, and of course, stream for fun. Today we're taking a look at Black Ops 6, and we're playing the map Liberty Falls. And what we know is that these are like all turn-based now again, and but they're kind of going back, quote, to what it was like back in the day. But there's still some of the new stuff that they kept too. So I'm just going to show you some here. Some differences is that if you're playing solo, you can actually have a save file. So you don't have to spend up hours at a time um, playing on your own and, and you don't have to like fight through the insomnia and headaches and, and lack of sleep and all of that stuff. You can actually go through it. We also can pause, of course, with solo as well, which is nice. We have a pause timer, so when it runs out, you know, that your pause time is done for your session. Um, uh, we also have some other things, too. There's, of course, the perks, opening up doorways and stuff. There is also still an objective, so we remember that one from a lot of, quite a few of the last iterations of Black Ops and other zombie games, and uh, w which is nice. And this one at Liberty Falls, we're trying to find a doctor or get the doctor's X filled out of here to actually complete the mission, which is cool. Um, the other map I haven't tried yet, but uh, which is Terminus, I believe. But yeah, this one is just Liberty Falls, and overall it's pretty good. Uh, you still buy stuff off the wall. You still have bubble gum, though it doesn't seem like any of the bubble gums are actually... What's the word? Um... They're all limited quantities, so you actually have to kind of earn them as you play. None of them are just, like, infinite, like some of the base ones. But uh, we still have, you know, around five or six. There's kind of like a different group of enemies that comes flying around. And, of course, it gets more challenging. We still have armor. We still have ammo stockpiles we can buy. We still have the mystery box. We still have... Um, the dark ether and stuff and things. We still also have workbenches that we can build from, um, like Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3. And so, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that we actually remember, and it feels like they really worked on pulling everything that was fun about all of the aspects of zombies and putting them into one type of game mode. So I'll go ahead and let you see here. I'm on Wave 9, I believe. And uh, as you can see, too, I still have latency. This is still online, even though I'm solo Honestly, and on single so player. I think you look great. But what's kind of... Oh, I can't open that from here. That sucks. But what's kind of weird is uh, the fact that I'm online anyway for a solo game. So I still have to... As far as I know, I still have to be connected to all of this. But this is actually where you start in Liberty Falls. And I gotta say, everything actually looks pretty dang good. So, you still have your gumball machines, of course. Let me run around and show some of these to you. You still also have workbenches. Like right here. So I got different things to try to find and whatever. You still have different guns. One thing that's cool, too, is... The guns that you actually have or that you've worked through through multiplayer or the campaign actually transfer over some into into zombies. So you're kind of working all toward the same type of progression, which is cool. What the heck is this? Oh yeah, field generator. There's still like different types of traps and stuff. But yeah, it is it is all pretty interesting. Let me buy ammo here. Because I'm really gonna need this. Yeah, here we go. I, fre to pieces. I freaking hate these things, dude. They're flipping disgusting. Not a big, uh, not a big fan of these. No, no. Yeah, I freaking hate these things. What's this? Whoosh! Keep on going, baby. I haven't gotten any pack of punches yet, which is nice. As you do travel through the world... Oops, I went the wrong way. As you do travel through the world, you can open up more stuff, which is nice. And just keep on working through. Eventually you can get to the church that's on this map, which is up here. And you can always find out, too, where the mystery box is and also some other stuff as well. But yeah, there's different trap generators. One thing I do miss is you can't... 
um, what's the word? You can't uh, board up the windows anymore. Like that, that's not back. So I kind of miss that personally. I'm an old nostalgia guy. I've been playing COD since before we even had zombies ever. Oh, go. Okay. Uncle Sam gives out medals for marksmanship. I didn't settle for a big Getting some bang for the Ooh, you get it right away. Oh, go. How oh, nice is that? Marks armor. That's nice. Got an x fill already? Let's see, what's this? Melee machoism? That's okay. That's a new perk, actually. I'm not even sure what these are. I don't actually remember. And the map's actually pretty large. I'm, uh, I'm surprised how big it is. That's a big guy. So, so far, what I've heard from a few of my friends that have bought, bought this recently and played this, this is, uh, let's see, the 27th, I believe. They have uh, they all enjoy it. Pizza like, again, there's some jam. of the new stuff, there's some of the old stuff, and it's just a good mixture overall. It's still not perfect. There's still some things that I wish they had or, or things that I wish they put in, maybe. Oh, God. Things are freaking Max nasty, armor. dude. Disgusting. I wouldn't say it's overly difficult. As far as I saw, too, there isn't a way to actually increase the difficulty. I could be wrong about that, of course. Boy, this thing ain't powerful no more. I better pack this thing up. Oh my word, man, what the heck is that thing? Freaking huge. Fucking figures. Massive cannon God. and minor threat. Okay, easy crawler, perfect. I'll take that. There's also some uh, interesting stuff in here too. So like we have a vault in the main Liberty Falls building. And there's a combination somewhere. So there's still some things to kind of discover and explore and figure out. And I kinda enjoyed those about some of the past Black Ops maps that we had in previous games. Now some are even over 10 years ago. Can you believe that? That's ridiculous. Yeah, overall, I think this will be really fun for a lot of people, too. Just the aesthetic of, like, the 90s, you know, and some of the 80s cars and stuff. It's just it's just a fun time, to be honest. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty awesome. Actually, I'd rather pack a poo. I think that's a 69... I think I think that's a 69. Should be about done here. I'd say the to the mini map actually works pretty well. Does a good job. But yeah, as far as I can tell, this is Liberty Falls. This this is all of it that I've unlocked so far. We also have some zip lines which is nice. Find the find the path. Yeah, this ain't gonna get any easier. Oh, great. God, it's taking so much damage now. It's getting a little, uh, a little ridiculous. Holy crap. 
It's getting heavy now. Woohoo. Still have enough to pack a punch. I believe I will. Really, I can't go back up there. That's frustrating. What I do like too is there's some of the buildings you can actually get into. You just gotta figure out uh, how to get in there. And I'm not even sure what this is. Oh, a trap. Okay. Sam trial. I'm not even sure what that is. I think I'm gonna get a big boy every level now. Maybe a couple of them now? Oh, there we go. Yeah, these are getting pretty powerful, dude. Tearing into some pork rinds right now. Tearing through. See, it was a steal. I can just buy it again, I guess. Can I actually, uh... I'm curious, can I just rebuy? No. I hate those so much. I can pack a punch again for 15k, that's crazy. So yeah, that's generally the the idea around the entire thing. Is like again, we have this mixture of older stuff and newer stuff put together, which is cool. And there's a lot of things that we are familiar with, and so it feels so some of the nostalgia is definitely there with playing it. And while there's maybe a few things like being able to 
board up windows and things like that or be able to hold out. We also have some of the older stuff, too, that they've given us, like the Pack-A-Punch machine, like r basic round zombies again, having these kind of bigger bosses uh, at a certain point in the rounds, like after round 10, or being able to just have, like, the hounds again, except they're spiders this time, which are ugh, it's just nasty. So, yeah, honestly, it's uh, it's pretty fun. And if you want to have it for a try for yourself, don't forget you can either borrow it for somebody, wait for a used copy from GameStop, though I'm not really sure if there will really be too many, because, again, this is on Game Pass, and the main focus now is just digital. But, yeah, Game Pass is 20 bucks a month, so you can give it a shot for 20 bucks, see if you like it or not. But, you know, too, just be careful. If it's not for you, hey, that's totally okay. Don't let anyone tell you any different. And, uh, you know, honestly, with that, hopefully you guys are doing well. You can always follow me at GamingGarbage22 over at YouTube. Don't forget, also Discord, Twitter X, and also Twitch. Twitch, you can read it and find it all there first. And with that, folks, I'll see you guys on the next one.